playing back music is now easier than it's ever been before. I can now play any one of my thousands of tracks just by tapping on a touchscreen, but I feel that there's one thing that's been forgotten about, and that's the visual experience of music. I like flashing VU meters, or bouncing needles to show me that something's going on. Even a spinning record is more interesting than looking at a plain white box. When I grew up as a teenager in the 80s, you bought your hi-fi based on how many flashing lights it had on the front of it. But nowadays, this is what you get. And you know what? I'm mad as hell and I'm not going to take it anymore. I'm doing something about it. Okay, so what I've done, I've gone and bought this Spectrum Analyzer type device. It's a 32 by 32 matrix of LEDs. I'll show you the different display modes. This is the first one with just the bars popping up. Uh, display mode 2 is the same, but it has that trailing dot at the top that falls down a little bit slower. I prefer that mode. That shows you where the sort of peak got to on each of those bars. Uh, I'll go through the different display modes, but while I'm doing that, I'll just talk about it a minute. Um, yeah, so it came from China. It cost me about £55 all in. I paid the extra £2 for express postage and as a result it arrived in just eight days from China, which is great. Now the chap selling these didn't seem to have so many, so probably by the time you look at it, it'll be sold out. But I'll put a link in my description and if I see any more on there I'll change the link and update it. Uh, you have to assemble it yourself, I'll show you that in a second. Uh, there's the usual problem with the instructions being from China, they don't have any, you've got to figure it out yourself, but I have figured those out and I'll show you how all the different things work on it. It arrives flat packed, so that's so it doesn't get damaged in the post. It's got all these LEDs, as I say, 32 by 32 on one side of it. On the back there you'll notice it's got a battery, that's so it retains the settings after you've uh, switched the power off, and it's also got a time and date in here as well. Down the right hand side you've got two buttons, function and exit stroke reset. The function button pretty much does everything. Then you've got uh, an in and an out, even though they both say input. Input 2 is actually output uh, for your audio, and then it's powered by a standard USB plug. Those uh, inputs and outputs, by the way, are 3.5mm standard stereo jacks. The construction's pretty simple, there's not much to do except uh, it's time consuming because you have to pull this tape off the plastic which is pretty hard to remove. Uh, then you just got to sort of put the screws through, make a sandwich with the circuit board in the middle and put the bit of plastic on the back there and then just screw it all together. Now it does come with a USB lead, very short, you're better off providing your own longer lead for that of course and you've got a 3.5mm lead here for the audio in. It does have a stand on the back, not the best stand in the world, a little bit flimsy. Uh, you've got to bear with these things of course and you can always prop this up against something else anyway. Now this is how the LEDs are set out. Ignore the flicker by the way, that's just caused by the camera. You get the red LEDs at the top, then the green ones in the middle and the blue at the bottom. They're not multicoloured LEDs, they're just single colour ones in set positions. Now this took me a while to figure out. To get into the setup, you have to tap and then hold the top button. It will then get into the different setup modes instead of the display mode. So you can set things like the hours and minutes. To move between them you do a long press to select something, you do a short tap. So making it dual instead of mono there so I can show you the stereo output and then there's things like auto gain and the sensitivity whether you want it high or low and then you go back into the calendar again because uh, you can display a calendar and a date and a time when the thing's in standby and not got any audio coming through it so that's whether you want that on I'll put that on there so you can see what that looks like although I prefer it with it not displaying anything. Display speed is just how long it takes it to refresh between things, how long those dots will adjust. Notice the sequence here, you can have it peaking on the left or peaking in the middle. I'll make it peak in the middle, and that's where you change between English and Chinese. Be careful not to knock it into the other one by accident, otherwise you'll have to go through all that again. So that's what the clock looks like when it's in standby, but as soon as you put any music into it, that disappears and the VU meters pop up. And this is what the display looks like with stereo left and right and the peak in the middle. And then this is what it looks like with just one of those left or right with the peak in the middle again. And back into stereo with the peak on the left. Get it looking just how you want. 
Now, as well as getting your own longer USB power lead, I'd also recommend running this through a switch box. That way you can have more than one thing playing into it. In this case, I'm playing my turntable through it. I can't play you what I'm listening to because of copyright infringement. I don't want to get any takedown notices. But all the other music that you're hearing in this video has been provided by YouTube free of charge for people like me to put on their videos. So I'll just be quiet for a second so you can have a look and a listen. Now, if you like things subtle and understated, then this definitely isn't for you. It's very bright and it's quite large. Just put a Blu-ray in front there for scale so you get an idea of the size of it. So it's a big display, it would be useful for someone like a DJ or maybe in a house party if you wanted a nice focal point. Now, if you want to get hold of one of these, the UK price was about £55 when I bought mine. Uh, that's about 90 US dollars. Although, as I mentioned, they didn't have many in stock, so hopefully they've got some there by the time you have a look. They do do some other models as well, an all blue one, the same size as mine, and then some with different smaller displays. But that's it for the moment, as always. Thanks for watching.